introducing the classic personal luxury car, the Riviera Coupe. And in 1990, the evolution continues as Riviera's beautifully redesigned exterior is complemented by an all new, thoughtfully conceived interior. The Riviera has been Buick's top of the line luxury vehicle for many years. We like to call it the ultimate personal luxury car. Uh, Riviera has always made a statement about a person. It's a little sportier execution than some Buicks. It's a more personal car in the fact that it's a little bit smaller. And the Riviera has been the ultimate in distinctive statements and uh, elegant statements for Buick. The 1990 Riviera has an all new interior in it. Uh, in 1989, we did the exterior of the car. We've had excellent success with the exterior. It's been a uh, drastic sales improvement over the previous years. It's building momentum constantly. Uh, we've got a lot of new things happening on the Riviera, new people coming back to look at it that weren't in the market before. For 1990, we finished the job by doing the interior of the car to be more fitting with the outside. It's very traditional, yet very contemporary. We have an all-new uh, uh, instrument panel, which also has um, new analog gauges. Um, we've, we've got a longer operating console because we've moved the mirror and window switches to the door. We have a new door design as well as a new seat design. And we have two new interior trims available in 1990. We've made several improvements under the skin also. The 3800 V6 engine continues as the powertrain, but we have a new final drive ratio that gives you a little bit stronger feel off the line. We've also made a lot of changes in the chassis area that actually improve on the already incredible Dyna ride that we had in the 89 Riviera. Some of the things are improving the body structure in the area where the engine cradle mounts to the body. One of the colors that we had in 1989 is diamond white, and it is, it is a phenomenal seller. 21% of all Rivieras are ordered in that color, and that will continue to be an exclusive Riviera color in 1990, in addition to a new light brown, a new dark brown, and a new gunmetal gray. The Riviera has always been pure Buick. We listen to what we call the voice of the customer, and it comes from several areas. We have dealers. We have the people that actually buy the car. We have people that don't buy the car. We can also get information from them. We listen at auto shows when we're standing around the cars and people are looking at them. All that input goes into making the changes we've made for 89 and 90 on the Riviera. An overview of what's new for Riviera in 1990 includes last year's optional 2.97 gear ratio as standard equipment for better takeoff, an all-new interior that includes an advanced new instrument panel design with vacuum fluorescent electronic analog gauges, a new supplemental inflatable restraint system for the driver, which is housed in the steering wheel hub, a new pass key anti-theft system for greater security and owner confidence, and a new standard 2000 series stereo radio with cassette player using traditional knob type fader controls. Two new optional stereos with compact disc players are offered, one with graphic equalizer and cassette, the other a Delco Bose Gold Series music system with cassette. The engine powering all Rivieras again in 1990 is the highly praised 3800 V6 with sequential port fuel injection. The 3800 engine featured a new design for 1989 with such things as a revised intake system, a redesigned mass airflow sensor, and many other features that make it an even better performer than the earlier 3800. This engine is teamed with a standard four-speed automatic with overdrive that provides smooth operation at cruising speeds. The Riviera walk-around begins with the exterior, which was completely redesigned for 1989, recapturing the classic look of Riviera. At the front, protective bumper rub strips, a wide grille with appealing vertical lines, and a sloping hood provide a striking appearance. For 1990, Riviera also retains its sleek profile and modern formal roof line. Also contributing to Riviera's distinctive look are matching body color mirrors and chrome wheel opening moldings. Further enhancing the appearance are standard body side moldings and rocker panel moldings, 
which also help provide protection from parking lot damage. 15-inch all-season steel-belted white wall radials are standard for good road holding ability and a refined appearance, while custom locking wire wheel covers are standard, with aluminum wheels optional. Riviera's classic design continues at the rear of the car with a large sloping deck and a distinctive tail lamp design with added chrome accents for 1990. The trunk is carpeted even on the sides and provides a generous 14.4 cubic feet of storage room. Under the hood, Riviera is powered by Buick's 3800 V6 engine. The 3800 is equipped with sequential fuel injection, which meters and injects fuel directly into each cylinder's intake port to provide outstanding performance. The Riviera transmission is Buick's sophisticated four-speed automatic, which allows the driver to select overdrive for highway operation. For exceptional fade-resistant braking, Riviera is equipped with four-wheel power disc brakes that use vented front rotors to dissipate heat generated during braking. Riviera is also equipped with Buick's exclusive DynaRide suspension. This suspension provides a smooth ride without compromising its ability to respond to a variety of different road conditions, Automatic level control is also standard, assuring proper ride height regardless of the passenger and cargo load. Please refer to the Buick Century feature focus on DynaRide for more information. Additionally, power rack and pinion steering is standard with Riviera. For performance-oriented drivers, fast ratio power steering is available as part of the Grand Touring package. The biggest changes for Riviera in 1990 are in the interior. In customer listening sessions, Buick found that today's buyers were looking for a return to a more traditional instrument panel with contemporary analog gauges. The new Riviera instrument panel delivers with vacuum fluorescent analog instrumentation for easy reading, replacing last year's electronic control center. Full instrumentation is offered, standard. In the center cluster above the steering wheel are an analog digital speedometer, tachometer, and tripodometer. At the left of the instrument panel are voltmeter and temperature gauges. And at the right, oil pressure and fuel level gauges, with all gauges and instruments designed to provide convenient operation. The list of standard Riviera features leaves little to be desired and includes such things as a new AM-FM stereo with cassette and traditional knob-type fader controls for easier operation, a rear defogger, and push-button electronic climate control for total driving comfort. Another major change for 1990 is the new leather-wrapped steering wheel, which houses the supplemental inflatable restraint system in its hub and adds to the contemporary feel of the cockpit. Additionally, with the redesign of the Riviera instrument panel, the cruise and wiper controls have been moved to a convenient multifunction lever on the steering column. Furthermore, tilt steering continues as standard equipment. The standard bucket seats are also new for 1990, featuring a luxurious cloth fabric and six-way adjustable driver's seat. Additionally, two seat options are available. Both offer the comfort and luxury of ultra-soft leather and Sierra grain vinyl in a choice of five handsome colors. One seat option has a six-way adjustable driver's seat, while the other offers a 14-way adjustable driver's seat. The center console is new for 1990. It provides convenient storage for such things as cassettes, compact discs, and coins, and has a large ashtray. The door panel design for 1990 is also new and features such things as window and mirror controls with flood lighting, an armrest, and wraparound courtesy and warning lights for greater convenience. The comfortable rear seat includes outboard lap and shoulder belts, while rear seat heat and ventilation ducts provide greater all-season comfort. Riviera for 1990, the evolution of America's premium personal luxury car, continues. 
New for 1990 on Riviera, as well as the Rayata, is a supplemental inflatable restraint system, or airbag, which has undergone extensive testing in the laboratory, in barrier crash tests, and under actual driving conditions. The system is designed to supplement the shoulder and lap belt system in restraining the driver in frontal collisions. The inflatable restraint is designed to deploy at crash speeds above 14 miles per hour. The actual deployment of the SIR happens very rapidly, with the time from impact to full inflation taking approximately 50 milliseconds. The airbag is located in the steering wheel hub and is activated by crash sensors that send out an electrical signal. This electrical signal triggers the airbag as it emerges from the hub of the steering wheel. The airbag can supplement the lap and shoulder belts by cushioning the impact of the upper torso against the steering wheel. The Supplemental Inflatable Restraint System, standard equipment on Riviera for 1990. The Riviera is available in five interior colors for 1990, with two new colors offered, brown and light gray. A total of 13 exterior colors are offered, including three new colors for 1990, Palomino Brown, Chestnut Brown, and Gunmetal Gray. Also available are 10 accent stripe colors and 12 vinyl top colors that include six new colors. A special Riviera appearance package is also available in limited exterior colors and includes Platinum Beige Fire Mist Lower Accent Paint, taupe body side stripes, and painted aluminum wheels. For full ordering availability, consult your product manual and appropriate 1990 literature. When selling the exciting Buick Riviera Coupe head-to-head -head against key competitors, you'll find it offers several major advantages. 1990 competitive product information was not available at the time of production for Action Library. Comparisons reflect Buick 1990 versus competitive 1989. Against the rear-wheel drive Mark 7, the Riviera Coupe offers such things as the stability of front-wheel drive, four-wheel independent suspension with Buick's exclusive Dynaride, and power rack and pinion steering, which requires little steering effort while providing the driver with precise steering capabilities and a good road feel. Riviera also offers more EPA interior volume, including front leg room, hip room, and rear head room, even though many people think the Mark 7 is bigger. Against the Acura Legend Coupe, Riviera provides considerably more interior room, as measured by the EPA, including a major advantage in rear seat leg room. And Riviera's 3.8-liter 3800 V6 engine delivers more horsepower and torque than Acura's smaller 2.7-liter engine. Riviera also offers several key advantages against the Cadillac Eldorado Coupe. For instance, Riviera's 3800 V6 with sequential fuel injection generates more horsepower than Eldorado's larger V8. Riviera is also equipped with Buick's exclusive Dynaride four-wheel independent suspension. And Riviera offers a considerable advantage when comparing manufacturers' suggested retail prices, making it an appealing choice for many customers. Buick Riviera for 1990, the evolution of America's classic personal luxury car continues.